Hello and welcome to Our Divas. For those of you who don't know, I'm Trisha and I'm passionate about inspiring women to not just hang in there, but to thrive. Ladies, the journey through the modern dating landscape is complicated, to say the least. Maneuvering through the twists and turns of the dating pool becomes a prolonged venture, extending beyond our initial expectations oftentimes. The challenges faced extend beyond the search for suitable men. They delve into the nuanced interplay between a limited dating pool and consistently making poor choices in men. So in this video, I will discuss the modern dating scene, shedding some light on the main subtleties between a poor dating pool and poor taste in men, offering insights for you know the single ladies out there seeking serious, meaningful relationships. This is gonna be interesting. So grab a pen and paper and let's get started. First, a poor dating pool often arises from geographic limitations, especially if you live in smaller communities or areas with a questionable reputation where the population lacks diversity. Limited options can make it nearly impossible for women to find compatible and worthwhile partners, leading to compromises and settling for less than ideal relationships. Living in areas with demographic challenges inevitably contributes to a poor dating pool. Factors such as age or cultural background can significantly narrow the available options, making it difficult for single women to connect with men who share similar values, interests, and life goals. This really underscores the importance of strategically choosing cities and neighborhoods to live in. You want to conduct thorough research before moving. Find out the median age, income, educational level, um, as well as the male to female ratio. Understand the racial and ethnic composition and whether the town or city is progressive or conservative. Making an informed decision about where to live is absolutely crucial for enhancing your dating prospects. Then there's the digital dating dilemmas. The rise of digital dating has expanded the dating pool, but it brings along numerous drawbacks, such as a high potential for being ghosted or catfish. Sorting through profiles and managing online interactions can be overwhelming and exhausting, leading to frustration. Men statistically proven preference for younger women ages 18 to 25 further narrows the pool for eligible women looking for love. For women of color, it's even worse. Dating apps often exasperate feelings of invincibility and objectification. Dealing with these situations can be annoying because, you know, being objectified is far from a compliment. Offensive or sexually explicit messages can be uncomfortable and are obviously not appreciated. And there's no shortage of that on dating apps. It is what it is. We live in a world where some men don't hesitate to reveal their crude side when shielded by the anonymity of a screen. And to make the situation worse, in nearly every Western country, dating and marriage rates are at an all-time low. It's as if Cupid has taken a hiatus and left single women to navigate the rough waters of love on their own. The reason is that men, especially Gen Z men, may not be prioritizing dating and marriage due to various factors, including financial constraints and a focus on personal goals. More and more men are choosing to prioritize other aspects of their lives, such as career development and personal growth, leading some to be less, you know, less actively involved in the dating scene or not dating at all. Others are simply angry and bitter, blaming women for all their inadequacies causing them to give up on dating women altogether. And when they do engage in dating, they often do the very bare minimum 
or expect to be chased like women. And what's wild is that many women fall for their shenanigans. Ladies, this is where it's important to recognize that you may have poor taste in men. Poor taste in men often involves attraction to unhealthy traits such as emotional unavailability, commitment issues, or a lack of respect. Breaking this cycle requires examining and understanding the patterns leading to such attractions. Also, ignoring red flags, whether communication issues or toxic behavior, contributes tremendously to poor taste in men. Recognizing and addressing these warning signs is crucial to breaking detrimental relationship patterns. Poor taste in men may also be linked to low self-worth, leading to settling for low-value men who reinforce negative beliefs. Building a real strong sense of self-esteem is essential to breaking the cycle of unhealthy, subpar relationships. Ladies, we can do better than this. Learn from past relationships. Identify patterns that may have led to poor choices and extract valuable lessons. Don't let the bad dating experiences be in vain. Use these experiences as stepping stones towards personal growth. Only date men who meet your criteria. Prioritizing criteria over boredom emphasizes the importance of quality over quantity. Focus on building meaningful connections rather than entertaining dozens of men out of loneliness who don't even meet your basic standards. The women who often complain the loudest about the dating pool are usually the ones who have the lowest standards. I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but it's true. Also, actively expanding your social circle broadens the chances of meeting new men with similar interests. Engaging in activities aligned with your passions and values increases the likelihood of connecting with higher quality men. I have a video that includes places where you're more likely to meet them. I will link the video below for those of you who are interested. And challenge preconceived notions and embrace diversity in the dating pool. Be open to meeting high quality men from different backgrounds, cultures, and age groups. This mindset will lead to more enriching experiences and help break away from limiting patterns and dysfunctional relationships. As you can see, the dynamic interplay between a poor dating pool and poor taste in men present a multifaceted challenge for single women. While external factors play a role, the power to make mindful choices ultimately lies within you. By actively expanding social circles, embracing diversity, uh, leveraging technology wisely, developing a strong sense of self, and learning from past relationships, single women can really transform the dating drama and trauma into opportunities for fulfillment. That's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in the next one.